Well, from Saudi Arabia, she says that, mashallah, her daughter is getting proposals of marriage. So can she make istikhara? The answer is istikhara, first of all, is to be done by the person uh, involved. So the proposals are not coming to you, Sarah. It's coming to your daughter. So your daughter is the one who makes istikhara. And she does not make istikhara until she accepts a proposal. So if she gets five proposals and proposal number two is suitable and she's happy and satisfied with it, she may go and ask uh, uh, for a meeting or an engagement. And before that, she makes istikhara but not on the five themselves because she has to pick one of them. Secondly, um, when you say that they propose to her from outside of the community, so you get um, different nationalities, different uh, ethnicities, and you want to reject this. So is this permissible or are we um, not being grateful to Allah for sending us such um, uh, proposals. The criteria that the Prophet ﷺ said that whenever someone comes to you with satisfactory religious practice and moral commitment, so two things, his religion and his akhlaq, if they are accepted, then you should give him in marriage. He did not speak about wealth, he did not speak about beauty, he did not speak about ethnicity or nationality. However, people say and scholars say that if this is against the norm in the community if her relatives would be offended by her marrying an expat or marrying someone of a different race etc and this would cause problems in this case you have all the right to refuse such such a proposal and it's not the end of the world and in my opinion so many times we've seen that such marriages face a lot of difficulties and sometimes end up in failure. When someone from Saudi Arabia marries someone from America, different culture, different uh, uh, way of thinking, different environment, she cannot drive, she cannot do this, she cannot go on her own, etc. She's lonely, she doesn't have friends, and then ends up in marriage. Different to a person marrying someone from the community, from his locality, she knows the habits and the customs and what to cook and what to say in uh, uh, um, different uh, occasions and events. It's a different ball game. However, if the woman is willing and the family is capable of coping and adapting and the man is accepted in his, his religious uh, practices and his uh, moral conduct, then there is nothing wrong in that and it's up to the father to decide, mainly not for you, uh, Sister Sarah, with all due respect, because the man is the one responsible for giving the yes or no. And this approval of his or decline what is what counts in a marriage. Your approval or decline does not affect the marriage at all. And you have virtually no say except advice. But it is the man's decision that counts here.